doesn't matter what you guys do, uh, you need to find your niche. You need to find what you like it. Um, your passion. Passion, yeah. I mean, the life, I don't want to like to be like, the life is too short, but it is. The time fly, and why you need to spend the time to do what you not enjoy it. Like, uh, I'm in the construction industry with Natasha together. We're together how many years? We're together 18 years, 18 but years. we're doing construction for the last 10 years, I would say, together. 10, 10 years uh, established the company. Uh, yeah, no, so. like 8 years. Remember when we just married, we have like, you work in a bank, uh, after bank you work in a uh, school district department, so I do my stuff and we always kind of praying like, we want to do something together. Mm -hmm. like, we wanted to do a business together. And then it uh, came true. Came yeah, true. in 2012, we started Shams and we've been doing it since. So and it's a lot of fun. people ask, why Shams? What means Shams? What's the meaning Shams? It's our, our part of the last name. We have new construction, we have remodel, we have restoration, we have addition, and we have uh, pretty much done, right? Yeah. But again, our main focus is new construction, it's Shams homes, it's custom homes. We are creating our models, mm -hmm. okay? So we're not just the build, building houses. Um, yes, we are building for customers. The customers can come with his own plans and we can build a uh, custom home. Uh, but we are creating our models. We call Shams homes. And the passions, it's like you you take the uh, pencil and you start create the floor plan, you start existing exterior and you have house, you have actually model. And this is my passion uh, about design. When you ask, um, I like to get the crazy stuff and experiment. He does like to do each model separately. So even if it's the same floor plan that we're building for customer, he needs to do different color. He needs to do a uh, different interior tile or he needs to change something. He can't do the exact same thing over and over and over. And that's, I think, what uh, makes us different that we um, do each project individually. It doesn't matter if it's the same model or not. We come to it as, like you said before, as a, you know, we take, we, we take it as an individual project. And you, as a designer, you create your designs on each of the projects. Yeah. And each time it's amazing. And I'm still time. learning, honestly. It's, it's tough work. Mm -hmm. It's uh, sometimes she asks me, Serge, are you in a budget? I'm not thinking about budget at all. I'm thinking about creation, how to create, how it's going to be looks, those colors or this material. Sometimes if I don't like it, I just redo it. Um, and a lot of times I have to stop him not to go over the budget. Yes. But then allow, I allow some <laughs> some allowances for some things it. for that appreciate design. It, yeah. So yeah, um, Natalia, she's more paperwork doing. She get the always uh, permits, pull it out the permits, deal with insurance. Uh. For the model to get the permits, you need to um, provide the floor plan existing and proposed. And then you fill out the application and you take it to the building department. And then you, um, in the application, you uh, describe all the work that needs to be done, uh, the evaluation of the product, I mean, of the um, yeah, yeah. project. And then you submit the paperwork. And a lot of times, if, there, if it's not a major remodel, if it's uh, like to like, it's uh, over the counter permit. If it's um, not like to like, if you have to do addition or like uh, move a lot of walls around that needs engineering, yeah. that, um, then it takes sometimes uh, planning department to go over your plans before they can issue permit. Sounds then. like easy to me, but mm -hmm. we did it this so many times. And what's the difference between basically model, what, like she said, uh, like to like, what does this mean you got it? So you have existing floor plan and you don't want to change nothing, everything perfect. You just want to do lightly remodel, like change the carpet, lights, um, cabinets, countertops, something like that. So you can get this permit and the counter. But like she said, if you do an addition, compared of remodel, this is came for structurally, more engineering stuff, 
and the process take more longer time. Okay. So that existing house that you were going through today, um, so it is like a full remodel. Um, a lot of stuff is like to like, but there is also modification to the floor plan uh, to make it more comfortable, to make it more, um, you know, inviting floor plan than it's right now is. Because the house was built in the um, 50s, right? Um, uh, 72. Yeah, okay, so the house was built in When 72. I purchased this house, she's in Russia, so she didn't know some stuff. Yes. I so, got the deal. We got the deal, yes. I was so excited when we get a new project because it's like, doesn't matter size. It's it's matter when you come, you open the front door and you try bring this house back to life. This is what made me happy. When he comes into the door, he always, he already sees how it's going to look after he's done with it. And then, so he has this extra vision on words. Without you, without you, without your permission, I cannot do this. <laughs> So um, in 1972, it was it was built. So a lot of uh, stuff is new right now. People like open floor plan. People like to um, have a master suite um, definitely in the house. So in this particular house, it's going to be a remodel with the modification of the floor plan. Exactly. So it's still it's still not a major. Uh, it's not addition. It's a it's a it's still a remodel. It's still a remodel. Yeah. Let's talk about it addition uh, from your experience. Because usually you do uh, permits. Mm -hmm. How long is taking the time frame? I know it depends on the city, but proximally. Uh, it can take anywhere from uh, a week up to, you know, 45 days. Yeah, like you said, it depends on the county where you're doing the permits. Sometimes it takes a couple of weeks, sometimes it will take a couple of months. I mean, it just depends. Okay. Um, and, and it also depends on complication of addition, if it's like a large addition and it needs uh, a lot of planning and uh, there's different departments that you have to go through. Um, you know, so in some cases there's a design department that you have to go through um, exactly. and they have to approve the design first and then approve, uh, you know, the building and the planning uh, part of it. But, um, you know, if it's a simple addition, it probably can take a couple of weeks. Okay. If we are talking about it, about estimating, um, like I said, some people thinking like, okay, new construction, it's more expensive to compare addition, okay, or restoration. Let's focus for addition, okay? So when you added something to existing house, okay, it's more, more uh, expensive. And the reason why, because let's say you connect uh, extra square footage, you, you need to connect foundation. So you need to connect the rebar, you need to transfer structural uh, buildings. So when you connect the walls, you're cutting the plumbing, you're cutting the electrical and a lot of things. And you need to deal with engineering, architecture, and uh, depends the build of ear, the house. And right now the code is always changed. To build new construction, let's say $200 per square foot. If you do, if you thinking to do a remodel and you thinking it's going to be less, no, it's going to be approximately 30% up from our experience. If we compare new construction to uh, remod, uh, to addition, I apologize. So when she said extra step for uh, planning department, where the designing, like restoration, like especially we did it in uh, downtown. Mm -hmm. Specifically, uh, what kind of type of doors, windows, exterior I'm talking about? It's right even now. colors. I in mean, if colors. if you if your house is um, exposed to, um, uh, if it's in an area where it's visible, let's say from the main highway, main road, like here in Tahoe, if it's if people when they're driving by, if they can see your house yep. from the main exactly. highway, it's uh, considered as a, you know in a area where you need to get approval of a design. That's everything. That's color of the house. That's a material of exterior that you're going to use. Uh, everything lighting that you're going to have. Yep. So all of that will be um, considered as a design review. About estimating, let's say, right? Uh, for From my point of the view. Yes, of course, I have the number approximately how much per square footage like to like rehab to do house. Okay, like change the windows, carpet, painting, tile, new kitchen, new appliances. When I'm doing estimate, my company wouldn't do estimate, we try focus by trade by trade. How many doors, how many windows, how many lights, floors, dimensions, and everything, everything. So we have more correctly number. This is my advice for you. Delin, let's talk about it, Lynn. It's very important subject also. Uh, uh, 
Again, our recommendation, go to the building department, make sure you find out about more information what you want to buy, the piece of property or a piece of land or house. So um, let's say if you buy a property and there was something added to the property without permits, uh, so when you buy the property, you take over that property completely. So now you take over the responsibility for whatever exactly. was done illegally at the property or so was not permitted. Yeah. yeah, and then if the building department comes uh, to you later, you are responsible to bring it up to code or demolish what was built without permits. So, um, and another thing you said about the liens, yeah. uh, when you buy property, of course, when you uh, buy it through the property that's on the market, uh, you, you go through the title company, title company will take care of it and the liens will come up if there's any liens on the property and it will be taken care of at the time of closing. But let's say if you go and buy the property of the auction, uh, and you pay cash for it and you at the auction you need to do your due diligence to check all the um, all the paperwork yep. you need to check all the files uh, you need to go to a recorder's office to um, to see if any liens were recorded on the property so it's a lengthy process and it's a lot of um, work that you need to do uh, exactly. but be careful because there was a lot of incidents when you know investor or, or a person would buy it off auction and then they end up with a whole bunch of liens against the property um. So let's talk about it, uh, about... Registration and yeah. uh, going through insurance. Yeah. Um, I mean, the process is, uh, is not that complicated, but first of all, when you get a project uh, for a restoration or you're going through the insurance company to, uh, you know, fix the house, let's say it was flooded, the whole house was flooded or the whole house burned down and then you have to rebuild it uh, yeah. and insurance pays for it. It's almost the same thing as going through the construction loan. So you go by phases. So the, the insurance company, you have to give them a bid how much it's going to cost to uh, restore the project, to restore the building. And then um, you just are working on it and as you go through the phases, they're going to pay you the money for it. There's a lot of paperwork you, have, you need to submit with the insurance companies. Uh, one of the things is like the very detailed bid that mm -hmm. you have to do. They really look at yeah. all the details, yeah. what kind of material you're going to use uh, on the finished material. And a lot of times, uh, it depends on the insurance uh, that the client had. So let's say, for example, if the client had an insurance that the floors were linoleum, and that they never upgraded their insurance. And so the insurance company will only cover linoleum like cost, like, yeah. like to like. So um, so it's better to have a good insurance uh, on the client's side. So, and whenever they upgrade their house to upgrade their insurance policy, because, uh, you know, um, they kind of go like to like, the insurance companies hate to pay extra. Mm, but uh, for you as a contractor, you just have to follow the guidelines that was approved by insurance company and just go through steps. So from my point of the view of, let's say, if we would do, we're talking about it, let's say flood houses or firehouses nothing wrong with those deals just make sure you just uh, know how to counting and you stay in a budget like let's say f maybe four years straight we did it uh, flipping the houses right yeah how many houses we did it per year approximately anywhere company? from 40 to 70 a year yeah so it's 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 a lot so we did it uh, around it's a full remodels full remodels yeah so approximately it's take uh, our company uh, finish the house from start to finish house around two two to four weeks yeah around depends on the something house. like that and again we use a lot of subcontractors definitely to reach our goals compared with commercial uh, if you ask me uh, yeah we did it commercial um, we did it some cafes some restaurants um, to work one year two years maybe it's fun good money and start boring yeah, so when, uh, when you do the commercial projects uh, for the remodel, uh, there's no... Uh, there's even, even new. Yeah, new or new, it doesn't matter if it's remodel or new. There, you cannot have a room for recreation of your own ideas. They give you stuff, they give you design all the... Design sheet. Yeah, design sheet, oh, material, yes. Plan, everything. And you just yeah. have to put it together kind of like a puzzle or like a Lego, I would say. So you just use their stuff and you put it together. There's no room for and a design And it's nothing wrong. Adventure. It can't work for somebody. It doesn't work for us. It's good money, no question mm -hmm. asked. Yeah, he's just too creative for it. He likes to create. Uh, it, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yes, you do. And it's, you, you just think. <laughs> well... Let's, let's continue on about uh, 
contract. Maybe maybe you guys decided uh, like a family, like a partner, like a father, brother, sister, mother, whatever. You decided to do something together. Uh, yes, you trust each other. Yes, your family. Yes, your friends. But please do the contract uh, or something written that specifies who does what, who is responsible for what, who gets what at the end. Because when money comes in at the end, there's always an issue. Not always, but a lot of times there's an issue. Even if you trust each other, even if you know each other, it's still there's misunderstanding. Oh, you said this, I understood this way, I did not expect it this way. So um, make sure that you do the paperwork, uh, some kind of paperwork that's stating each other's responsibilities and who gets yeah. what and who does what. The funny tell about one contract in our life, what we did it in a cafe. Well, you say that, that you did yeah. that. I did that, mm -hmm. yeah, she's not there. So I have one young couple, the guys wanna do um, new construction, like with us partner up. So those guys has that money, we have knowledge, so we bring together as those guys want to do in Litaha one house. I said, let's do it. Um, and we're sitting in a cafe and the guy asked me, uh, let's OK, we, but we need contract. I get the piece of uh, napkins. I put 50, 50 signature and we signed the contract, two copies. Okay, and we got the deal, and how much those guys uh, make it for this deal? Uh, All together, um, we did two houses for them. Yeah, ended up doing actually, two we houses. did two houses. And they, they made about, I would say, 110, 120, something like that. Something like from that. Both I mean, not bad, right? And yeah. how long does it take it for us, this project? Five and a half months. Five and a half months. So, less than half a uh, year, yeah. those guys get a uh, deal. Um, so, um, again, sign it. Make sure you have contract. It's very important without funny, without jokes. So, Natalie, you just... I think you look what? 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 What?